Want to find out how to get the Tsunami? I mean, the name alone should just make you want to get this weapon. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get it and why you should definitely be picking this one up. SFO, this is Laser. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get the Tsunami, a tactical sag. 12k and you're probably wondering laser why should i pick up this weapon i'm gonna be letting you guys know in this video plus i'm also going to be telling you guys exactly how to pick up this weapon but before i show you guys how you'll be able to pick up this weapon i'm putting a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see how this weapon works and on top of that we're going to go over its stats so let's take a look at this weapon and see what we're able to get out of the weapon currently right now it comes with 45 damage for me personally 180 rpm 7 in the mag, accuracy, mm, stability, mm, reload speed 2.3, critical strike 0 out of 20, and damage drop off. As you guys know, it is a close quarter weapon. It comes with the following talents. It comes with pummel, 3 consecutive body shots, kills, refill the magazine, and grants a plus 50 weapon damage for 7 seconds. In addition to that, it also comes with optimize, plus 15 weapon handling, and it comes with the holster talent, stop, drop, and roll. While equipped, rolling removes burn, bleed, and poison status effect can occur every 60 seconds. Now let's take a look at this weapon. It comes with a beautiful, a nice looking skin called the Lake Bed. And this is for the Tsunami Round. Remember guys, if you order for you to unlock this weapon skin, you're going to need to pick up this weapon. It's going to make it look very, very nice for this particular weapon. In addition to that, guys, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why you want to pick up this weapon. Now, if you guys enjoy shotguns, I know a lot of people are like, I don't know about a shotgun. You shouldn't pick up a shotgun. There's nothing special about this gun. Let me tell you what's special about this gun. Shotguns are actually decent in the game, but they are not the meta. Now, there's a couple of people who enjoy playing with shotguns. They're pretty effective in PvP pretty effective in pve but what makes this weapon stand out out of another one so if you guys have been playing the division 2 and you've been picking up some sag g12s you've been picking up this particular gun but the advantage of this gun than any other gun is the following this gun has the same perk as the black market sag g now the difference between a regular sag g12 is the fact that it, this one comes with a under barrel now the, now, the black market and the names SAG G are the only ones that come with the under barrel. And you're probably wondering why is this important? Well, the reason why this is important is because you're able to actually add an additional mod to this weapon to improve the falling. You could definitely improve um, stability, reload speed, but you definitely want to make sure you got that plus five or that plus seven critical hit damage. That's what you're going to be going for this weapon right here. Not so much accuracy, you just want to make sure you get that additional crit hit. On top of that, you're able to also put a barrel or a scope, which will give you a better, uh, a better, you know, zoom in or it just gives you better optimal range damage to elites, critical range, accuracy, stability, and all that good stuff. That's all dependent on where you want to go. But the main reason you want to pick up this weapon is the advantage that it gives you to actually apply that uh, barrel as opposed to just getting a regular one to drop. Remember, there's only two types that give you this one, the black market and the name SAG-12. Now, let's talk about how you will be able to get this weapon. Well, in order for you guys to get this weapon, you are going to need to do the following. You're going to need to find the snitch. And why is he the snitch? Because he snitches where my girl Mendoza's at. He says, yo, she's over there. She's over there. And uh, we're going to need to locate the snitch. Now, for me personally, every single time that I need to find a snitch, I always go to the same place. I go to the uh, safe house down right here, the, 10, uh, the 1040 safe house, work my way out of the hallway, find the snitch, and find the location for Mendoza. Now, for those of you guys who might not have the snitch on this location, bing, bada, bing, I put a map on the video right here. You guys are able to see all the, all the different areas that he's able to spawn. Find out there he spawns for you and locate the snitch. Once you locate the snitch, locate the icon that has the little shopping cart icon on the map. Once you find that, you're going to want to make sure you make your way over to that location. Head over to that location, find out my girl Mendoza, and locate what she has in her inventory. She will have the Tsunami Tactical SG-12 
and this is how you'll be able to pick it up. Definitely pick this one up, give it a couple tries. It's actually not a really bad weapon. I highly recommend it. And this is going to be primarily mostly for people who love shotguns, who are collectionists like myself, and who just like to have named weapons. We never know when these weapons will become viable on any other update. It's better to have them than not to have them. And there you guys have it. That is how you get the Tsunami in the Division 2. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do plan on picking this up. Why? And if you don't plan on picking up this weapon let me also know in the comment section down below why you don't plan on picking it up i do hope you did find this video helpful and informative if you did do me the huge favor guys drop a like on this video let's share this video with as many people as we possibly can because that does help me out a lot don't forget if you want to stay up to date to everything the division 2 if you're new to the channel subscribe and make sure when you do you hit that little notification bell so you guys can know when division 2 videos go live in addition to that if you're already a sub double check that you have your notifications turned on so you could also get notified when videos go live thank you guys for watching and don't forget wgatap and i will catch you guys on the next video